no one expected us to be here. Everyone counted us down and out, and we became one of the best teams in the world. If you want to go demon mode with your aim, then keep watching because we're going to fully break down the mouse grip and posture of Demon 1. I scoured the depths of YouTube and Demon 1 Twitch clips, and I think I figured out his unique style of claw grip that might be the secret to Demon Aim. <laughs> Starting with the basics of his setup, you can see he has a pretty massive tilt of his keyboard, creating space for his mouse movement. His stomach is touching the edge of the table or likely very close mainly because he uses the desk for forearm support, with his elbow hanging off the edge. This can offload his shoulders. The keyboard tilt, however, rounds his shoulders and can sometimes lead to neck issues and headaches. Besides this, I love that he uses his mouse pad to reduce the discomfort of the table edge for his right forearm. Safety first! His way of using the keyboard is quite common, but his mouse grip is more unique than it seems. To try his grip, start by grabbing the mouse with your thumb, pinky, and ring finger near the bottom half of the mouse. He uses the Razer Viper Mini, which has a mouse shape that includes a side indentation to provide increased leverage for gripping. And I'll clarify a bit more why the mouse choice is important later in this video. Then you'll be bringing the mouse all the way to your palm so your fingers are going to feel a bit more flexed. Looking from the bottom, you'll see how much your fingers are bent and with the right mouse shape, it can help create more stability of the grip and that can give you more control of the mouse, especially if you have arm dominant aim like Demon 1. This is different than the standard claw grip, where the fingers of the ring, pinky, and thumb are set further forward, so the center mass of the mouse is actually closer to the wrist. With Demon 1's grip, the mouse is further away with more of a grip on those side fingers, leading to more use of certain muscles. And I believe he does this for a specific reason, his settings. Because he has a lower sensitivity at around 81 centimeters, this causes him to use his arm a lot more, which is likely why he has this modified claw grip to keep the mouse stable as he moves his arm. And it is likely a higher tension grip as you can see from some of the mouse cam clips where there is some more overall muscle activity present. And you can tell by looking at his form and how much the tendons appear on the back of his hand. But there's another thing I noticed that can also increase the strain on the pinky side of his wrist. It's similar to Primi in that the mouse is off-centered so it's closer to the pinky side of his wrist. And this causes Demon 1 to tilt his wrist towards his pinky to keep the mouse straight with his base grip position and during aiming. This on top of the fact that his mouse is further away from his wrist can really lead to more use of his forearm muscles. The stability gains are nice though, so if you are an arm aimer, try this yourself in a death match and see if you have better control for your mid to larger angle flicks. We've talked about his body setup, keyboard and mouse, and of course, we have to talk a little bit about his monitor setup. It's pretty clear how close his eyes are to the monitor. And this is something common in FPS games as there's a perceived increase in response time and the targets appear much larger which can allow you to respond more quickly. But it's not as close as someone like Yukinder, but definitely close enough that there might be some risk of digital eye strain. There's also some clear forward head posture which actually has seemed to improve over the years with less shoulder elevation and a bit more of an upright posture. So good job, Demon 1. So throughout this grip and posture review, I listed a bunch of muscles that he uses when he plays for up to eight to 10 hours a day. Our muscles need to be able to handle that amount of repeated stress over an eight to 10 hour period to avoid pain or injury. And this is a really common cause of wrist pain with gaming. So if you do wanna learn a few exercises you can do to prevent injury, or if you're already feeling some stiffness, check out our free wrist pain guides or join our Discord. So how would I rate Demon 1 and where does he stack up with the rest of the pros that I've looked at? I consider him B plus tier since he has a unique grip style that can increase stress on the wrist and hand and has some rounding of the shoulder. I do like that he offsets some of the forearm pressure with his mouse pad and has improved his neck position over time, but there's still room to improve. Remember mouse choice and fit is always important to consider since the shape can make a difference in how well you can try certain grips. The Razer Viper Mini works well for this grip style since it's light, but could be a bit more taxing on something that is a bit more heavy. 
So just keep that in mind as you try this grip, but also ensure that you're doing the exercises to strengthen the muscles that are being utilized to prevent a risk of repetitive strain. And if you don't know what exercises to do, check out our free sensitivity routine calculator to get a prevention routine and a performance-based routine based on your aiming style. It includes the important exercises you'll need for this grip. So who should I do next?